Greetings island hoppers, we're taking the ferry from Koh Samui's tranquil beaches to Koh Penang, the home of the famous full moon parties. Good morning guys, Oof, welcome to Koh Samui, the weather's turned a bit crap. That's okay, because we're actually going over there today. No, but it's, I mean, it's not far. The clouds are there as well. But yes, we're going over there. Over there to uh, Copenhagen. So uh, in about, I guess an hour or so, we are getting a van that goes, I don't know if you can see over there, but there's a, there's a pier there. And then we're going from there. Over there somewhere. Over there somewhere. We kind of booked like a. I'm like, oh no, it's not. I thought it was going to be a grass hut, but no, this is not a grass hut. Uh, it's still kind of very similar to this. Overlooking the beach. <sighs> Should be nice. It's even more kind of remote, I believe. Obviously, Copenhagen's uh, famous for the full moon parties. Um, I think we might be there during kind of half moon or new moon some things so I think there is a half moon party that's there uh, so we might go check that out maybe don't know don't know we'll see how we get on if there's an inkling for it uh, obviously my partying days pretty much non-existent these days <laughs> but you know we might go have a look anyway uh, yeah or maybe we'll just jump on one of these hmm but yeah, no real plans here in Copenhagen, just checking out, checking out the vibe, probably looking at the full moon party. Maybe I just got some ideas. I think there is some snorkeling to be had. But yeah, the weather is kind of scheduled or predicted for gray. Uh, we're there for about, well, there, we're, uh, we'll see. We're there a few nights. We're there a few nights. Um, yeah, we'll see, I guess, what happens. Cool, guys. Well, Today we're going to Copenhagen. Let's go. So we're just waiting, waiting, waiting for our transfer from our hotel thing, place, to the pier. It's like a minivan. Supposed to be here like two minutes ago, but like a kind of yeah. The uh, so right now it's like. 47 past 10 and the thing was like scheduled between 10 and 10.45 but our ferry, the ferry to Copenhagen isn't until like 12.30 so we've got loads of time I would say because we we're actually quite close to the ferry comparative to maybe the rest of the island so I would say it would make more sense to pick us up at the end but I don't know, maybe, let's see Hopefully, yeah. Okay, we'll wait, we'll wait. We're waiting. There you go. There's an usher waiting. Yes, I'm practicing patience. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're in the van. We're on the way to the pier. It's just down here, actually. So we'll be there soon. Um, we've still got probably an hour and a half wait anyway before it leaves. But I think they did ask mostly to get there an hour before anyway. So sometimes there's a bit of Chaos at the pier. Seems to all work out there. Let's do it. So we're back at the Fairy Building. Uh, not too hectic today. I don't know why, but yeah, when we were here last time, when we did the walk, maybe I'll link that above. Uh, yeah, it was quite hectic. It seems quite chill. I think it was hectic because there's a lot of people coming off. So we're a bit earlier than the boat actually arriving. So that's good. Uh, time is like 11 o'clock. Apparently the thing leaves at 12.30 and only takes half an hour. Half an hour. How crazy. Um, cool. And I think, I think, I mean these all say check in rather than like buy tickets. So I think, you know, you just take your ticket well, your receipt, 
and you check in over here and then they give you the tickets. I guess that's how it works. So here's the pier, here's the water. That's Copenhagen, I think. It's a bit strange looking at it from a different angle, but yeah, that's Copenhagen. Must be. This is all coast and over here. So we were staying just down there, somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. Now we wait, now we wait. The weather's kind of done its thing. <laughs> but oh well, oh well. Still nice to be by the seaside, still nice to be getting on a boat, still nice to be going to a tropical island. I mean, that is kind of the nature of tropical islands, you get tropical weather. Uh, on both sides. <laughs> you also get tropical coconut trees. Da -da -da -da. Yes. Uh, this is also where we walked. So we walked all the way to the end there um, the other day. That was in the video that I just talked about. Maybe again, I'll link it above if I can twice. I'm not sure. So yeah, we're saying goodbye to Koh Samui. Oh no. It was really nice here actually. Really nice. I finally felt, I mean, I think Gilly T as well did it to me for a bit. I finally feel kind of that got to a place where I could just relax and do nothing. Although I was editing every day, but you know, apart from doing that, it's nice to be able to just sit on the beach, go for a swim before breakfast. Um, and yeah, just enjoy kind of doing nothing more or less. Although, you know, we walked along the beach. We went to the big Buddha, which is over there somewhere. So we did things, we did things, you know? Cool, um, now we're kind of doing, right now, kind of nothing. Just doing the waiting, waiting game, waiting game, waiting game. To get on that pier, on that ferry that doesn't exist yet, and on that island. Just hanging out on the swing here. The thing's turned up. The our trusty steed has turned up. Looks like a lot of people have to get off. Wow, is that all the bags at the front? <laughs> I think all the bags are at the front. I think all the bags are at the front like that. Weird. Like covered in a plastic bag. If it's too rainy, it'll just get wet. I guess, I don't know. Weird, people weird. Let's see. Okay, so I think we have to wait for all these people to come up. Then there is a lady that does talk on the big speaker. And then I think you have to go wait over here in queue. Uh, probably with all your bags, it does say, so there's a baggage place over, over there, no, over there, um, where we've got our big bags, but it does say you have to carry your own bags to the ship, so that's just a temporary holding station, so then, yeah, I guess just to not clog up the place, um, so yeah, then I guess you get your bags back, put them on your back, get, stand over there, wait for these guys to come off and then get on that's the procedure <laughs> seems very very ordered very ordered i mean i think the, the only chaotic bit really is like the tourists basically <laughs> okay we wait waiting waiting <laughs> looks like they're just disembarking now so we're walking down the pier finally bit of bit of queuing there was goodbye kosumui goodbye 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 but yeah, basically, I think like, so you sort of queue, but then you get separated into Koh Tao and Koh Phangan, and then the Koh Tao people get on first, and now we're Koh Phangan, we get on now. Okay, okay. But that's also why they give you these stickers to make sure your uh, luggage gets off whoa, at the right place. Okay, gotta go, bye. There's so many people. Now we're on the boat. It's good. It's good. We're going somewhere. I think the Koh Tao people and the Koh Phangan people are all on the boat. -ish. I think there's still a few to come on. Uh, it's supposed to take about half an hour. I have a little feeling that it might take a little bit longer. But I don't know. But yeah, it does seem very over. Uh, I mean, I, I, I couldn't say overloaded, but. 
We're on little, little plastic chairs. Uh, and kind of just waiting, waiting for it to uh, take off. Might take you on a little tour uh, a bit later. Once we get moving, once we get moving. We're going. Oh, and the sun's threatening. It's threatening to come out. Can you see the Buddha people? Yeah, there somewhere. There, maybe. I don't know. This is Copenhagen. I think we're getting off. Maybe. Sounds like we're getting off. Let's welcome to Copenhagen. That's our boat. We're now on Copenhagen. Uh, oh, I was just getting her a little bag. Uh, we're gonna go probably to the theory building over that way somewhere and just kind of check out um, how much things cost to get to. Um, we want to go to Hat Yai in a few days, or like well. Penang eventually, but Pat Yai, etc. etc. So we're trying to work out how to do that from Copenhagen. Uh, so we're going to go to the ferry building now and then get uh, like maybe a taxi or a something or a Song Chiao or a something to our place, Rainbow. We're going to Rainbows. Just getting into the ferry building here. Uh, I'm going to ask around about how to get to Penang. I was just with the, the bags over there. And then we're going to get to do the thing, do the thing, do the thing. So yeah, I don't know. don't see anything going to... I'll look around. So we got in Song Tian, Song Tiao, Song Tiao. Uh, we did into our uh, guest house was 150 each. Uh, like I said, I stopped in at the uh, theory building. And then as I was coming back, all of a sudden they were grabbing all the bags. So I had to jump on pretty quick. Um, but to get to Penang, uh, we have to get there at 5.30 a.m. And uh, it'll cost 1750 Or to Hat Yai, it's about 700 And you can kind of choose, there's about four different uh, times. So yeah, we have to decide if we want to get there all at once. Or if we want to get there, or if we want to get up at maybe... 3.30 in the morning. I mean, it's better to get in the morning and then you know you're there. Yeah, I mean, we'll... We'll, we'll then get stuck. We've got decisions something. to make, decisions to make. Because otherwise we'd get stuck in Had Yai, basically. Yeah. Maybe. Had um, rainbow bungalows, Copenhagen. So look, now we've got the view from the other side. So we were over there somewhere. I think once I find, once I get Asha, um, I think there, no, there, I don't know, here, here, here somewhere maybe. Hmm, can't really see anything though. Huh. A bit blue. But yeah, look at this cool place. This will be cool just to chill out in. Got a swing, there's the head there, and then sort of around, just around the area, it's all the full moon parties. Scary. Um, cool. Nice chill beach. Weather hasn't got any better, I'm afraid. Still grey. <sighs> it's a different, it's a nice view here. Nice view. It's even more island view here, I think. Yeah, a bit messy, a bit messy. But you know, chill. Not quite as sandy. Yeah, a bit more muddy. I do remember that from last time I was here. We were, I was actually think I think I was staying on the north side of the island, and it was a lot more kind of m mud dirt beach, which this is a bit more sandy, pebbly. But yeah, cool. We're here. Nice. Uh, I guess that's it for this vlog. Um, not sure what we're doing after this. I think we might be going for food and stuff. Uh, maybe having a little walk around down the beach and just, you know, 
getting our bearings but that'll be in the next video that'll be the next video so you know what you have to do you have to just subscribe to find out all about whatever is going to happen next so yeah make sure you subscribe um, and yeah cheers thanks for watching guys couldn't do it without you wouldn't do it without you um i'll see you on the next one until then keep on drifting